Didn't your mama ever teach you to bump and jump? Hi, welcome back to the Spanless Gamer. Today we're playing four games for the 2600. We are playing Bump and Jump, Bumper Bash, Cakewalk, and Chase the Chuck Wagon. Our first game today is Bump and Jump, which came out in 83. And the box art here has um, a rad bustle car and another car chasing him and bumping bumpers from the popular arcade game. Bump and Jump. Bump and Jump cartridge. One player, go for the highest score, cruise along at 20 miles per hour, woo, or go flat at 220. Wow. Bump into other cars and send them crashing. Start with five cars, get another each time you rack up 40,000 points, lose a car when you crash, jump to clear water, uh, and get out of tight situations, jump on either side of cars to make on other cars to make them crash, drive through eight different roadways, curves, narrow, center islands, water, road debris, challenge your driving skills. Uh, I will. And I don't have any fun facts for this game, but I did do play this on the NES, so uh, check that out if you haven't. And this is Bump and Jump. <laughs> Yay, I owned this game when I was a kid. And uh, I enjoyed it. I remember enjoying it. A warning comes up that you know jump is coming, crash into things and wreck them. For some reason, there's skull cars. Oh, rewind that and not do that. All right, it's a very rudimentary compared to the NES version we played, but. I think it captures the spirit of bumpin' jumpin'. I mean, you do jump and you do bump. Oh no! Oh, I made that just in time. Okay. Boom. Bump. 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 Jump! Bump! Oh, we avoided that. Cars 18, bonus 9,000, road number 2, spring. Did we get the changing season? Oh no, I died. Okay. Oh no, I died again. You can bump and jump better than this. Come on! Didn't your mama ever teach you to bump and jump? Oh, that's a tricky one. Need it. Hey, don't you dump your dump truck stuff on me? Obviously, it's a dump truck. I remember that because the instruction manual tells you it's a dump truck, not because it looks like one. Always be dumping. Skull car. For some reason. Boom. So, is this one of those games where I'm the bad guy and I'm just like knocking people off the road for no reason? Because they don't seem to mind that I'm here. Except for the skulls. Screw those. jump. The graphics are rather ugly, but you know, it's an Atari game. We'll give it a three there. Sound is pretty good. We'll give it a four and a half. Music it has background music. I, I kind of dig that. Um, we'll give it a six there. Storyline, I mean, there is not really one according to the box, so we're just going to give that one a zero. I think the NES one did have a story. 
Uh, controls, controls are pretty good, seven. Uh, funness, it can be a fun little game, five and a half, does it hold my attention? Uh, four and a half, and overall Bump and Jump is gonna get a five on the Atari 2600. Let's move on to the next game. All right, the next game today is called Bump and, yeah, not Bump and Jump, we just played that. This one's called Bumper Bash, which I expect to be probably the same kind of game. But who knows? So this game came out in 1983 as well. And the box art here, uh, Bumper Bash. Actually, it looks kind of like pinball. Bumper Bash. Bilingual instruction included. And nothing. Play with the paddles. Introduction, opening, demonstration of the game, and ending. So, okay. You're just going to show me what the ending is? Also has more realistic sound effects, more colorful graphics, and more action anti-challenge. More action anti-challenge and challenge than compared to what? I don't know. All right, so let's play the game. I don't have any uh, interesting fun facts for this one. So we're just going to get right into this version of pinball. Um, how do I, how do I pinball? Pinball better. How do I shoot the ball? Well, that's a fun pinball game. Uh, I have no idea how to play it. And we're just going to go ahead and rate the game, I guess. Because I don't know what I'm doing. So graphics. Um, a bunch of squiggly lines and circles. Two. Sound. Uh, two. Music. Didn't have any. Story. It's pinball. Controls. Uh, you're supposed to use a paddle for a pinball game. I don't know. Zero. Funness. Uh, it's probably not that great pinball experience. One. And does it hold my attention? Nope. And Bumper Bash overall is going to get a one. And that's it. Uh, let's move on to the next one. Okay, our next game today is called Cakewalk, which came out in 1983 for the Atari. And the box here, Cakewalk 9 by Kamavid. And we got a guy walking with cakes in a conveyor belt. How fun. Uh, cakewalk, something's amiss at the bakery. The conveyors are spinning out of control. A torrent of cakes and pies pour from the ovens. The besieged baker must snatch the pastries before they fall off the inn, but avoid the deadly silverware. And if that's not enough, there's a dancing gingerbread man that tries to outfox the baker and a surly janitor sweep up the mistakes. Because back in the 80s, you can make video games about anything and it didn't have to make sense. You must maneuver the baker among the six conveyors. You can stop one, but neglect it or try to stop another conveyor and it's on the move again. When you catch enough pastries, you'll earn a coffee break. Rest, enjoy your coffee, and get ready for a new onslaught of runaway goodies. Good reflexes alone aren't enough to avoid disaster. As the pace increases, planning time and margin of error vanish until the bad temper janitor won't clean up another spill. Can you catch all the pastries and keep the bakery going until the next coffee break? Test your speed, skill, and decisiveness in Cakewalk, the latest video game challenge from Kama 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 Vid. All right, let's see. Look at that giant face. Okay. All right. Okay, there's the janitor. I'm just testing the janitor to make sure he's up to the task here. Yay. We're caking now. Boop. Cake. Cake. going yay that game so cakewalk graphics i think they're okay give them a five uh sound was okay a three music had a little bit of jingle there one and a half story crazy in a cake factory one and a half controls you move up and down there's not much else to it and you can push a button to stop a conveyor belt give that a four and a half funness a one does it hold my attention oh half a one and overall cakewalk is going to get a two 
And let's move on to the last game of the day. Okay, our last game today is Chase the Chuck Wagon, which came out in 1983. And the box art just has a, a dog chasing a chuck wagon, apparently, I guess. And there's my dog over there. He is not chasing the chuck wagon. He's just sleeping, because that's what he does. So this game is uh, often thought as the holy grail of collecting for the Atari 2600, but is not the rarest game by far. Uh, although it was only available by mail purchase, uh, you had to send in Perina proof for purchases because, uh, okay, let me explain. The chuck wagon character was a commercial where a dog would chase the chuck wagon around the kitchen floor to get his food or something. Anyway, this game is based on that. It was a promotion of Perina and it didn't work out so well for Perina and I, apparently they... Um, destroyed all the unshipped cartridges and a quote from the game programmer mike schwartz says he was approached by a good friend and badly needed the game to be programmed over a weekend and it took him three whole days to cobble the game together um the sound effects were basically the same as artillery duel where he had existing code from and uh he says he apologizes for the weak gameplay but he was rushed so let's play it this is chase the chuck wagon it says dog food at the bottom there we go. Look at me being a dog. Cooper, I'm a dog. Cooper, Cooper, I'm a dog. I did a bad thing. I think something exploded in my dog. Uh, okay. I have to get the chuck wagon. A couple other games called Chase the Chuck Wagon. I just have to get up here and get the chuck wagon. Is that it? Okay, I guess I won. Yay, glad I sent for proof of purchases for this one. Oh, get the dog food. Get the dog food. Woof, woof. Hey. Hey, that's mean. I like the little waggy tail on the dog. Okay, graphics. Chase the truck wagon. Pretty simplistic and ugly. We'll give it a, a two there. Um, sound, not a whole lot of sound in the game. Um, a one and a half. Music, there really wasn't any story. There really isn't any controls. You just move a little dog around a maze. Uh, controls are okay. Three and a half. Funness. Um, half a one doesn't hold my attention. Nope. And overall, Chase the truck wagon is going to get a half. And that's it. Please like, subscribe, check me out on Patreon, and we will see you next game.